Hello, everyone, and welcome back to CountryCast. Morgan Wallen is no doubt one of the biggest names in country music right now, and right alongside another artist that is arguably one of the biggest as well, Luke Combs. And the wild thing is, both of these guys have a similar story towards the start of their career. Luke and Morgan were both booted off the reality TV singing competition, NBC's The Voice. Now, Morgan made it much farther than Luke Combs in the show, but man, did The Voice miss the mark with these two, as they have with many other talented artists. And in a recent interview during a hunting trip with Drury Outdoors, Morgan Wallen shared his story on why he was eliminated from the show. Real quick before we dive into Morgan's account on his elimination, I just want to say thank you to our supporters and subscribers, and to the folks who continue to return but are not yet subscribed, thank you, and if you could please do us a favor and subscribe to the channel, it would help us out in such a huge way. Again, thank you to everyone. Let's go ahead and jump right into Morgan's explanation on why he was booted from The Voice, and it is just wild to think that it all happened this way. When asked about his beginnings in music, Morgan said, My mom threw me on stage when I was three years old at church. When I was five, I asked for a violin for Christmas, which was probably more fiddle because, you know, I was at church and being from the Appalachian Mountains, I like to listen to bluegrass and stuff a lot. So I learned how to play that, but I learned how to classically play violin and not fiddle. I quit after two or three years because I didn't think it was cool no more. All I was doing was playing baseball, so I didn't think it was cool at all at the time, but I played piano, so I learned how to play piano when I was seven, and I learned how to classically play piano. He continued and added, I wouldn't ever write songs really. Sometimes I'd write poems and just random stuff, but I didn't start writing probably until I was 19, and I remember I got hurt in baseball and didn't get to go to college to play. So I started writing songs, trying to get my feelings out, I guess. Now, after Morgan provided some insight as to how he started with music, Morgan went into how it all went down with the voice. Morgan told Drury Outdoors, My mom actually signed me up for the voice, the TV show. I went on there. I didn't even know what it was because I never even heard of it. And I was like, yeah, I guess I'll go, you know, if you drive me to St. Louis. I'm actually willing to try it out and made it on there, made like top 20, but I wanted to sing country music, but they wanted me to sing pop music. So I was just like, I guess these people are really smart people. I guess I'll try it out. And I sang some pop songs and then they finally let me pick a song and I picked a country song and they kicked me off. It was the best thing to ever happen though. But I just met some people through that and ended up moving to Nashville in 2015. It's been good to me. Now, if y'all remember, Morgan was kicked off the show just before the playoff round after being a part of Usher's team back in 2014 on season six. Like Morgan said, though, it was a good thing as he has managed to have a record breaking career where he is solidifying his name in country music. Morgan just announced his massive 2023 tour, One Night at a Time, where he again is having record-breaking sellouts, adding shows even after the initial announcement at the stadiums and arenas that he will be playing. Morgan also has three new songs out now, Tennessee Fan, One Thing at a Time, and Days That End in Y. Guys, thank you for tuning in to CountryCast. We would love to know y'all's thoughts on this down below as well. But that will be it for today's video. Again, thank y'all for tuning in.